One of the challenges of treating cancer with radiotherapy is to accurately target the disease cells whilst doing as little damage as possible to the surrounding healthy tissue. I'm Dr Elizabeth Healy in a very chilly Leeds in the UK to see how physics and medicine are coming together to create precision radiotherapy. Vivian, you're not a medical doctor, are you? No, I'm a medical physicist. Physicist? So yes. why do we need physicists in an incredible cancer hospital like this one? Well, uh, the f medical physicists are uh, probably the best equipped at managing the use of radiation. We have a number of machines called linear accelerators, and these are used to target uh, radiation to treat cancer patients yes. as effectively as possible. Aren't you cold? I'm freezing. <laughs> So we're now entering the uh, linear accelerator bunker, mm -hmm. and it's literally a bunker. These are six foot thick cement walls. We have this uh, door here, which is a lead lined um, door, all to contain the radiation within this room when we're using it for therapeutic purposes. This is the linear accelerator, and what we have is a source of electrons. Uh, these are accelerated, they're pumped along by microwave radiation. They'll hit a target and then they'll fire out the radiation through the, the treatment head. Within the treatment head, we have shielding and also a device called a multi-leaf collimator. What's that? <laughs> it's, a, it's 160 leaves that will shape the radiation beam to the, deliver the radiation to the patient. So are they sort of like fingers that can be moved in and out, depending exactly. to create a shape of the beam to match the shape of the tumour? Exactly. The beam itself is so intense that to show you how it works, we're having to film its reflection rather than directly, because if we did, it would blow our cameras. These radiation-resistant tungsten leaves are central to the system. They continuously reshape the beam of high-energy X-rays to match the outline of the tumour. Because the beam is so finely targeted, less damage is done to the surrounding healthy tissue, which means higher doses of radiation can be used, reducing treatment times by weeks. Christmas, 1945, I was told I had to go down the coal mines. Gosh. Today's patient is 86-year-old Alan Garnett. He was one of 48,000 men conscripted to work in British coal mines as part of the war effort. Alan has his own theory as to what caused the lung cancer he now suffers from. What people don't realise down the mine, the stone dust is the thing that can cause problems. How long were you down there for? Three years and two months. So you went in on when you were 18? Yes, I came, came out, out at 21. 21. When I came out of the pit, I was brown. I wasn't black. It was just a stone dust, which I think is uh, more probable than the coal. Radiographers use lasers which they align to tiny tattoos on Alan's body to ensure he is in precisely the right position for treatment. From the control room, they make minute adjustments by remotely moving the bed he is lying on. Richard, can you tell me what we're seeing now on the screen? Because I can see three circles of different colours and I can see the tumour moving up and down as Alan is breathing. Yeah, the uh, light blue circle is the internal target volume. This represents the motion of the tumour throughout the breathing cycle. The dark blue circle is the planning target volume. This represents where the dose is going to be delivered to, so we're happy as long as the tumour is contained within the planning target volume that it will receive the dose that's been prescribed. So we have Alan Garnett, yeah. uh, 8438 126. Okay. So are we ready to go now? Okay. Yeah. Okay, happy with yeah. that? So what we're seeing here now, we can sort of see a square shape. That's the aperture, that's yeah, the treatment. The treatment right, yeah, so. so the black the black area the we black can area. see is literally the, is the beam. Yes, yeah, yeah. that's it, yeah. Okay, well done, Alan. Put your hands down now, if you like. Hi, Alan. How was that? Excellent, love. 
It doesn't need much imagination. I think you're laid here on a beach in the Mediterranean. <laughs> OK, Beth, you can sit up there now. Patients like Alan are coming from across the UK to Leeds to take advantage of this new treatment. And for Alan, having such state-of-the-art technology on his doorstep makes all the difference. Being a Yorkshireman, born and bred, it must be great to have this facility in your own county. It's absolutely fantastic. As I was told, that this machine is absolutely unique and the treatment best in the world. I'm fortunate that the cancer is in the right place to be treated and treated with this machine. I'm damn lucky. Very lucky indeed. So what we've seen today is that patients like Alan receiving traditional radiotherapy would, would get that treatment five days a week for up to six weeks. With this new technology, people like him can receive a much more effective dose in only five treatments.